Hello. In our parasha, parasha Titro, we have the zchut of reading the Ten Commandments and the fundamental uh, occasion of Ma'amad Har Sinai. In the second commandment, at the end of it, Hashem is described as one who is Oseh Chesed Le'ohavai U'leshomrei Mitzvotai that Hashem gives loving kindness to thousands of generations, the Elif Dor, Le'ohavai U'leshomrei Mitzvotai to those who love me and those who keep my commandments, my mitzvot. The Michilta, the Midrash of the Tanaim, brings uh, that the, there's a big difference between Ohavai and Shomrei Mitzvotai. It says, Ohavai ze Avraham Avinu v'chayotzebo. Ohavai are those, those who love me are those like Avraham and those like Avraham Avinu. And Shomrei Mitzvotai, Elu Hanevi'im v'hazekenim. So what is the difference between Avraham Avinu, the big difference, the essential difference between Avraham Avinu and the, uh, the Nevi'im and the Zkenim, the prophets and the, the leaders of Am Yisrael throughout the generations. So the Meshech Ochmar, Rabbi Meir Simcha Kohen Mitvint, explains that Avraham Avinu was before Ma'amad Har Sinai. Everything he did in Avodat Hashem came from love and passion towards Hashem. As opposed to the Nevi'im and the Zkenim, that they, everything they did came after they were obligated after they had mitzvot, they were ordered to do things. Afraham, anything he did came from his own will. It came from his, he was volunteering to fulfill the mitzvot or to anything he did came from his love and passion towards Hashem. As opposed to the Zkenim, that they had to fulfill certain obligations. They got a whole Torah, 613 mitzvot that they had to do. So why does the so what does this mean? Does this tell us that after that we've given Torah, there is no more Ahavat Hashem? Clearly not. We have a mitzvah, there still is the love of God. We have two um, basic ways of worshiping Hashem. One based on Ahavat Hashem, Ohavai, and one based maybe based on obligation and fulfillment of mitzvot, ule shomrei mitzvotai. Maybe it's more connected to yirat Hashem. What comes first? What is the way that we educate ourselves and educate our surroundings? Do we first educate and base our avodat Hashem the way it was done historically? First Avraham Avinu, and then the prophets and the zkenim. So first we teach ourselves and teach our children and teach our surroundings the love of Hashem and the passion and the devotion, and only afterwards we make sure that people realize not only is there love and passion, but there's also obligation, or vice versa. We say that was good before Ma'amad Ar Sinai, but after Ma'amad Ar Sinai, first of all, the basic concept of Avodat Hashem is keeping the mitzvot, is being obligated to the rules of the Torah. After we have the basic Yirat Hashem, after we have the basic keeping of the mitzvot, then we can go to the next level. The next level is Ohavai. Which of the two is correct? I don't know. It probably is different between different people, between different families, between different times in one's life. But I think it is very important to make sure that we always strive to have both parts, both elements in our spiritual world. Sometimes I have the feeling that we feel like we have to make a big choice between the two, that people either feel that they're part of a commitment, they have the mitzvot that they have to fulfill, but they don't have the strong feeling and passion towards Avodat Hashem. And others that have emotion and passion and love and all of those exciting feelings feel less obligated in to fulfill all the mitzvot. And I, first, on one hand, our parasha tells us, Elu both are 
very important and dear to Hashem. Hashem gives loving kindness both to Ohavai and to Shomrei Mitzvotai. But I think that on the broader picture, it comes to tell us, let's balance both Avat Hashem and Yirat Hashem, both passion and obligation. Yiratzon that will manage all to have this chut to be under these titles. Shabbat Shalom.